his opponent from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He's wearing green trunks. He weighs 205 and a half pounds, undefeated in 26 bouts, scoring 23 knockouts. The heavyweight champion of the world, Joe Frazier. Let's pick up the last minute instructions from Arthur McCanty. Since this contest is for the final, de final determination of the heavyweight championship of the world, we ask you to pay particular attention to the rules of the New York State other. Athletic Commission. In the event of a knockdown, you must take an eight count. The other man must retire to the neutral corner. Three knockdowns in one round will automatically end the contest. Break when I tell you to break. Dundee on the right. Yes, the Durham on the left. Shake hands now, man. We turn to your corner. Hold. Almost ready for the fight of the There'll century. No Yancey Durham yes, has sir. a question. And now we're ready. Hundreds of millions are seeing this bout around the world. A packed house at Madison Square Garden. Muhammad Ali in the red trunks. Joe Frazier in the green oh, trunks. Wow. They appear very light. Frazier will try to pour in and catch his man. Muhammad Ali opening up fast. He may try to flick him here in round one. And he's trying it. Muhammad Ali may try a flick. He got in that good left hook. Frazier is not the easy target he used to be. He's bobbing and weaving all the time. And he's dangerous. His best punch the left hook. Muhammad Ali's best punch the jab and his good combinations. First clinch of the fight. That was a hard left hook that caught Frazier. Frazier is more vulnerable in the first round, and Muhammad Ali knows that. Shakes his head and is warned for holding behind the neck. Muhammad Ali has been missing. But that jab didn't miss. Muhammad Ali shakes his head as though his hand was nothing. But he was tagged. A whipping left took to the body that must have hurt by Frazier. Now Muhammad Ali is finding the mark with those jabs. And he gets caught on the rope, which he should not do. And one minute to go in round one. Frazier is smiling as he takes those jabs. Muhammad Ali, strangely enough, is not trying to make use of the ring. He's standing there with Frazier. And that's not considered healthy. Muhammad Ali, flat on his feet, not up on his toes, like the Muhammad Ali of old. Frazier just fights one way. He pours in and he punishes. 15 seconds to go in the round. It's been a fairly close round. Frazier getting closer to the ex-champion. The round is almost over. Muhammad Ali. Round two. The Muhammad Ali that we remember of three and a half years ago was a dancer. He's not dancing tonight. He may be trying to slug with Joe. Those are hard jabs and a good right cross. Frazier may have been hurt a little bit by that punch. Referee Arthur McCanty, a fine official, gets them apart. 
good exchange. A whipping right hand that did Muhammad Ali no good. Now Muhammad Ali may have been shaken. It's a real pure six belt. Muhammad Ali got in the best exchange, a good one-two, a moment or two ago, as you saw. Muhammad Ali is not keeping Joe Frazier away from him. However, he is scoring heavily. Round two is half over. has taken a good battering in this round. Stop talking! And the referee told them both to stop talking. They have time for that? Muhammad Ali is cut shutting Frazier with that right hand and getting away with it. And Muhammad Ali may be a little tired. Less than a minute to go in this round. Frazier every so often digs that wicked left hook to the body. It has been a dandy. Ooh, that must have hurt. Frazier has been hit with solid right hands that would have felled an ordinary man. 15 seconds to go in the round. That was the best punch in the fight. That left hook. Beautiful round. Ali exhibited magnificent skill and hard punching power. Much Very hard punching power. Watch it in the Frazier slow motion. Frazier with that left hook. A beautiful left hook. Now Ali comes back. There is no question that if Ali wins, he'll be beating Frazier at his own game, don't you think? That's right. Here is the instant replay again. Look at that right. Look at those rights. Those rights and lefts. Frazier is a strong man. He missed with a left hook that time. Ali is quite capable of tying a man up and strong himself. No crazy, just spit some blood. He is bleeding inside the mouth. Round three. Round three. Two undefeated fighters. This fight so far ranks with the great ones. Again, the referee tells them to stop talking, and they sure are fighting. Frazier is not getting that clean shot at the body that he did in the earlier round, in uh, round two. It's amazing that Frazier can stand up under that battering. And he is scoring himself. Now, Muhammad Ali is telling in his favor. He has been keeping Frazier away with his longer reach. It's 
the question how many, how many of those punches Frazier can take. These are big rounds for the ex-champion. Now Frazier is scoring. He said he would go to the body and he is. Frazier making good use of that head on the inside. Half a minute to go in the round. Frazier must be hoping that Ali will punch himself out. They're in Ali's corner, and Ali is hurt. And the round three. The round three, and they look for a moment that Muhammad Ali was hurt. This is a tremendous round, really. Muhammad Ali in his corner, he gets up before the bell, round four. Four! Scoring heavily, but he could get discouraged. He's hit this man with his Sunday punches. And Joe keeps coming in. Joe is taking a battering. Anybody else would have been on the floor. piling up a tremendous amount of points at this stage of the game he is way ahead no question they're just above us that whipping right up a cut one of Ali's best punches Neither one has ever fought a fighter of the caliber of the opponent tonight. No question of that. A minute to go in round four. Ali cornered on the ropes. Joe could be running out of steam too. That's still a good job. <laughs> Ali ducked into that punch instead of moving. Almost over. Archie, I thought Muhammad Ali started and missed in that round. He did. Frazier hit him with a terrific hit. Tremendous punch. A, a great round. A great round. The first part of the round was all Muhammad Ali, but Frazier kept pouring it really. All right, Bert and Archie. Round five. Round five. <laughs> Muhammad Ali may have been told to move more. He's up on his toes. For the first time tonight, but he was tagged. Muhammad Ali dancing around for the first time. Oh. 
But Frazier has caught him again. Frazier says, come on in and fight. You know, Frazier also has a good jab. Muhammad Ali slipped there over in Frazier's corner. It's very wet, apparently. Always is in a fighter's corner. <laughs> Muhammad Ali gets his uh, right hand behind the neck and pulls Frazier in on him once in a while. Good one, two, and a jab. If anybody is psyched here, it is not Joe Frazier. Look at that hook. Frazier is just laughing at him, talking to him. You know, that's the way Muhammad Ali used to taunt his opponents. Half a minute to go in the round. Bert Lancaster said that Joe Frazier was like a tank. That's just what he is. He just can't st keep sticking that chin out, though. What a round. Here is round six. And this is round the round Ali said he would win in. Round six. The round. Now it's Muhammad Ali making the clinches. Frazier landed the punch. Now it's Frazier doing the punch shotting as Muhammad Ali tries to hold on. Two minutes left in the round. going to be interesting in the scoring. Frazier is the aggressor and that will count for him. Half the round is over. One minute to go in the round. I get the feeling that they're both tiring a little bit. Ali almost 
just a sitting duck here. Frazier has to rest a moment. The round is almost over. Ali will score no knockout in this round. That's the end of the round. There's no question about it. Joe Frazier is absolutely relentless. He's coming in there. We're going to show you 20 seconds into the round, the slow motion. Watch Joe Frazier, just relentless, pouring it on in there. For a while, Ali tried to move around, but he's not going to be able to move around like a ball. Look at that again. He's just in there. Joe is just murder. Just murder. He is one of the toughest men you will ever see. This is 225 now into the round. This is near the end, and Ali is shaking his head. This is when a man tries desperately to rally. At least trying to hold him off with cute little tricks. But it doesn't work. There's the buzzer for round seven. Muhammad Ali being talked to by Bondini. Round, round seven. seven. And Ali is caught on the ropes again, but this time he ties up his man. He shook his head as though to say it didn't hurt, but it must have. Frazier smiling again. I asked Archie Moore between rounds if maybe Frazier was punching himself out. Archie said he didn't think so. has got to be maybe the most torrid heavyweight championship fight of all time. Again, Arthur McCanty tells Ali not to get that hand behind the neck. Wicked body punches by Frazier in Ali's corner. Seven half over. One minute to go in this round. Ali scoring with those solid jabs. And Frazier may have slowed down a little bit, but he dug one into the body. And Arthur McCanty tells Frazier to keep his punches up, which he just did. Ali dropping the hands. Frazier smartly goes for the body there. Well for Ali that that missed. That's him. Ali shakes his head. The round is almost over. Round well, seven is over. Ali seems a little disgusted with himself, but he's mighty tired. I'd say he's having a tough time handling treasure. Wouldn't you, Archie? I think he's running out of his uh, steam. Here we come, 2.30 in the round to show you that slow motion again. Now watch Frazier. Ali misses with a right, as you can see. 
And a left. Frazier is in there. Joe says, come on out and fight. The bell hasn't sounded. There it is. Round eight. Round eight. Both men in splendid condition. No question. Great athletes. Joe Frazier just literally took charge there. Now Muhammad Ali is piling up points with those jabs. Don't, don't forget that. Joe looks like he's in a training session. is just pouring everything in there now. They're short punches, but punishing punches. Ali is making very little return here, and the crowd is getting on him. Still talking, but he is he is also catching. Waving Frazier on. I don't know anyone who gets the sheer joy of combat the way Joe Frazier does. Some are landing on elbows, but some are getting in. Here it comes, look out. There it is. Half a minute to go. Round eight of a 15 rounder, no knockdowns. Those pity pat punches aren't going to do much for anybody. Archie, what do you think of this? I think that Ali is tired out. And I he think, has uh, tried to psych Joe out by pretending so Joe wasn't hurting him. I think so too. I think he's taking a he's taking quite a whipping. I think, he'll fight, I think he'll fight desperately the coming round. Well, there he is. There we are. There we are in slow motion. Thirty seconds into the round. Now watch Joe. I don't see how this fight can go the distance. But like you say, these boys are in marvelous physical condition. Well, as the crowd has changed. Now they're yelling. Before they were yelling Ali, Ali. Now they're yelling Joe, Joe. I know it. I don't see it going the distance. Do you? The way it's going now? Well, I don't know. They've gone through eight rounds, Bert. That's true. But I mean, it's something, boy. They could both punch out, you know, that's possible, Bert. Joe Frazier's corner, Yancey Durham setting him up for the next round. Muhammad Ali, oh, Frazier is the pressure of the two, no question. Round nine of a 15-rounder. You must remember this in the scoring. Muhammad Ali has been making most of the clinches, and that will count against him. 
He has broken off the exchanges more often than not. He has also scored some devastating punches against Joe's head. Remember, against Oscar Bonavina, Muhammad Ali had enough left in the 15th round to score a knockout. Joe bobbing and weaving, trying to get that whipping left at the head. Two minutes to go in this round. Frazier coasting a moment. Got him on the ropes above us. All right, come on, break, boys. Now back, Frazier Joe. is starting to relax and uh, rest on the on the inside. All right, breaks. Step back. Frazier trying to get that left hook to the head and takes punches in return. Come on, man. Frazier trying to get that guard down. Ali covering up on the ropes. That was a wicked punch. So was that. trouble now, judging by his looks, he's throwing out wild right hands, and Muhammad Ali comes back, he's got a great reserve. Desperation round. Use a desperation round. There we are. Here we are with the slow motion. Look at Ali go. Look at him go. Look at him. As Joe, Archie said, it's a desperation round. Joe seems to be a little tired now. And yes, Ali I thought Joe would look a little tired. Being refreshed. Ali's becoming refreshed. Didn't you think so, Don? I, I think Muhammad Ali summoned great reserve and, and just when he seemed to be going out, maybe. Right. What a fight, what a pace. I've never seen a pace like this. Archie, have you ever seen a faster type of fight than no, this? No, never, never. This is a beautiful thing. The only man could do this thing was Henry Armstrong. You heard that? Only Henry Armstrong, Henry Armstrong could keep this by the pace. But two big heavy boys like this, this is quite remarkable. Round, Round 10 is scheduled for 15. Now let's see how that punishment affected Joe Frazier. He's probably been told to stay in close now to nullify that long-range hitting of Muhammad Ali. We'll see who got the most benefit out of the minute's rest. I don't think you'll see Frazier stay out in the center again and, and just trade. He'll try to keep him on the ropes. Frazier grunting as he comes in with those punches. Frazier is putting everything into his punches. And now Ali looks tired again, but that could be deceitful. Looks like he wound up with that uppercut. Frazier trying to get Muhammad Ali to the ropes again. He takes punishment as he gets him there. What's going on here? 
Frazier, Frazier may have something wrong with his eyes. He was calling his trainer in there. <laughs> Frazier may have something in his eye. Muhammad Ali's coming at him now. But Frazier's trying to nullify it. For a moment, I thought Joe was going to walk out of the ring. Frazier taking that battering again. Half a minute to go in the round. <laughs> round almost over, as you see. Another great round, and another good round, incidentally, for Ali. I mean, Ali seems to be coming back in a kind of a way. He came in with some beautiful combinations then. There was a peculiar thing happened there when Joe looked to his corner as though something was wrong, and the referee waved them on. Here we are, 125 into the round that you just saw, and now we're one looking at it in slow motion. We're trying to find out what it was that was wrong with Frazier before when he made that gesture toward his corner. This is 2.20 in the round now. 2.20 in two minutes and 20 seconds into the round. Now here's the buzzer for round 11. No knockdown. Muhammad Ali slipped down that time. I'd say they're both pretty tired. There are two minutes left in round 11. Muhammad Ali holds on, but Joe's not rushing in there either. He's holding two. Trying to get that shot in there. Ali, Muhammad talks to him again. Not much happening, I'll say. has gotten wild. He's lost the good timing he had earlier. Lost the rhythm. That one hurt. So did that.
30 seconds to go in the round. 30 seconds. Muhammad Ali in real, real trouble. seconds the round, is over. the round is over the round is over what a round Muhammad Ali was really out that time Frazier really clobbered him with everything in the book now Freddie might try to fool him in this round next turn coming up I know no. but I mean he took a terrific beating there yes, was no did. question about but it he may try to fool him and catch yes. him here we are going to show it to you on in slow motion again now look at this quickly well who thought it would go this far Gamely trying to fight back, but he is spent. And Joe Frazier is pretty spent too. A wicked punch. Joe smartly goes for the body. Frazier resting in there too. He's had a tough night. Two minutes to go in the round. Frazier is very tired himself. <laughs> Frazier is getting in some wicked body licks. Why not after that pace? Muhammad Ali is missing a lot of those punches. Frazier laughs at him again. One minute to go in the round. Round 12. be a tough fight to score. Half a minute to go on the round. Round almost over. And Archie, that was a tremendous round. Yes, it was. Ali made a great Monroe. comeback, didn't he? There? Yes, but Frazier had him in the ropes. Oh, the last and the last had him in the ropes. From someone who was out, virtually out on his feet in the round before, I would say that Ali made a great comeback, but he's a tired boy. He's a tired boy. They were really working furiously in this corner, pouring ice at him. 
Now we're seeing an instant replay. We're seeing an instant replay. 30 seconds into the fight. Into this particular round. Ali is certainly disproving any doubt that he's not a game fighter. Yeah, a pretty often done off and make us move body work in here. And now he hits it and we see the same action in slow motion. We're coming up for round 13 now. There's the bell. Round 13, round 13 of a 15 rounder. Ali is putting all his power in those punches, and they've got to be hurting Joe. The biggest crown in the world at stake, the heavyweight championship. And Ali seems to be coming back. Now Ali is piling up points. He's boxing beautifully at the moment for a tired man. Ali slipped, but nothing happened over there. Two minutes to go in the round. Frazier let him get away after that big 11th round. And that left took hurt by Frazier. Ooh, oh, do you hear that punch? Ali making the clinches again. They're both great game fighters. There's a spot of blood on the shoulder of Ali. I guess it's from Frazier, but I don't see where. Well, they're fighting like lightweights now. Tide turns the other way now. If Frazier stays on top of Ali, Ali has no punching room. It's almost over this round. That's the bell. Round is over. Round 13 is over. And what a round. I mean, that Joe Frazier's got to be some kind of a man. Ali hit him with every combination he could think of. Not once, not twice, not three times, not four times, but five or six times. Ali's a very tired man. And yet Ali wound up as being a very tired one. Joe just relentlessly keeps going. He has more stamina and power than anybody I think I've ever seen. Don't you, Archie? I think so. I think so. He's sitting there hunched over his stool, ready to go out again. There they are on the ropes just above us now. You're watching them in slow motion. Look at that left to Ali's jaw. What team coming up? Yes. Of a 15 rounder.
Joe Frazier is barreling in there now to keep Muhammad Ali from getting set. Wicked punches by the ex-champion. But there's Muhammad Ali caught on the ropes again. No damage that time. Two minutes to go in this round. Okay, step back. Step, step back, says the referee, Arthur McCanty. Stop holding, boys. Stop holding, says the referee. Muhammad Ali is doing the holding. He's also stalling for time. Joe Frazier wild with that punch. Remember in the scoring, Muhammad Ali has made most of the clinches. For what that is worth. But he's dealing out plenty of punishment to Frazier as well. Frazier is very puffed around the eyes. He's got swelling around both eyes. From those tremendous jabs and hooks. Frazier's right eye looks as though it might be closing. Frazier talks to him again there. This round nearly over. Round 14. No knockdowns, but Muhammad Ali was staggered in the 11th and almost went down. That's the end of round 14, and what another great round it was. Now, if you look over at Joe's corner, there's something wrong with his face. He might very well have a broken jaw. I mean, he's got a welt there that's a, of enormous size. Now let's turn back to the instant play for a minute 35 in. Ali came through very well in this round, scoring repeatedly and seeming to get stronger. For a man who was virtually out in round 11, he's come back amazingly. These boys are in magnificent physical shape. Don't you think so, Arjo? I think so. I think that Muhammad Ali has proven a lot to a lot of people that he could come back. That's right, that he could come back because he's fighting a really relentless fighter. Joe is, has a serious well rubbing his leg. Now legs. we're going to look at it slowly. Oh, All right, this is the final round of the fight, and what a fight it's been. 15 and final round. Referee Arthur McCanny has them touch gloves, something they've been doing all night. Now, Muhammad Ali's going to go boxing again. And Frazier gets in to nullify that step attack. Back. Step back, says the referee. Time is important here.
Joe had followed that up, he would have finished. Muhammad Ali has never taken such a battering. Frazier is just cut shotting him now. One minute, one minute left. Look for a last minute flurry by Muhammad Ali. Less than a minute to go. Muhammad Ali gamely fights back. And Ali again makes the clinch. Remember the scoring is on a rounds basis. Frazier is tired and his eyes are closing. Half a minute, half a minute to go. Frazier has won the big rounds, the 11th and the 15th, at least up to now. Frazier has the man in the corner. Ten seconds. Five seconds. We'll have an interview with the winner and maybe with the loser. There it is. Round is off. They're going to show you that knockdown again. They're going to show you that knockdown again. by the two judges and the referee there's the Bedlam in the ring here scoring on a rounds basis with a supplementary point system where the rounds come out even Joe Frazier seems to be sick in his corner he is worn out we're waiting for the decision Johnny Addy is collecting the cards from the officials. And the, the ring is starting to cloud up. Despite the security measures taken, the people are coming in the ring. And this was not supposed to happen. We're going to show you the knockdown again. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, here, here comes the decision. Ball. Johnny Addy. Referee Arthur McCanty scores it 8 6, one even for Frazier. One vote for Joe Frazier. Addy Idala, 9 to 6 for Frazier. Frazier is the winner. Frazier is the winner. Correct. 11 rounds for Frazier. Four rounds. Moore and Burt Lancaster are trying to get him over here. Hell no.